Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Java GUI tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about let's see, input output, as you can tell. And before I get started, oops, I forgot to start this. Um before I get started, I'm going to um the reason why I haven't done any videos for like the past oh, 3 weeks or so, I mean, I guess I haven't really been um too interested in it, but I'm starting to get interested in it now again, so I can make some more videos, and um, I've been doing like a lot of actually writing. I write articles and stuff, and I get a little bit of money for that, and then, let's see, yeah, it's summer break now, so I have a lot more time on the computer. Okay, I don't know if that's good or bad, but whatever. Um, I recently went out and purchased a 21 and a half inch uh, monitor. Uh, 16, 8, 1620 by 1080 uh, resolution. And I absolutely love it. I mean, the last monitor I had was like a 10 year old CRT, basically a piece of shit monitor that it was just bad. I mean, the contrast is all messed up. Um, yeah, I didn't like it. So, anyways, got a brand new LCD monitor. It's just great, and I've been playing around on it a little bit, playing some games. Um, next thing I go buy is a graphics card and a power supply. I'm gonna go probably go purchase a ATI Radeon uh, 5770, so that should be great. Then probably play some Battlefield Bad Company 2, some Flight Simulator X, some Grand Theft Auto 4. So, anyways, here's a new tutorial for you guys. Um, got your basic stuff, and then we need one more set of imports, and it's gonna be called um, Java dot uh, I.O. And that just means input output. And that's just so we can write write <coughs> write and read the files and stuff like that. So uh we'll just make a basic layout. Alright. And then Just use the default layout. Oh. Alright. So, this stuff is basically what we've always been doing. Label. It's going to be a new J label. It's going to say enter text to write. And make sure you spell it wrong. And add label. God damn it. Alright, and then text field. Fuck. Yeah, as you can tell, I haven't coded Java for almost a month now, so. <sighs> kinda struggling here. But I remember almost all of it, so that's good. And then, let's see, you got a button. And then, let's see, we'll get an event class. Alright, so, go outside of that method, or constructor, I mean, and then do your event class. So this is the new stuff here. So put a try block around everything first of all, because we're doing anything with files, we need to have a try block. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna create a string. We're gonna call it word. That's gonna be equal to our text field. Get text. So whatever they typed into our text field is what we want to write to our files. That's why I need a string. And then here's what we're gonna do: file writer, and put, um, I uh, just put stream because it's kind of like streams between them. That's just the name of it. And it's going to be equal to a new and it's going to be equal to a new 
file writer and then for these parameters we're going to put um, basically the file path where we want our new file to be located so it's going to be on the C drive most likely and then it's going to be different for you probably but it's going to yeah I think you can do either or, it doesn't really matter. Whatever. Um, C, users, uh, my username on this is just called, I think it's like computer2 or something, and then documents, and I know you can't see this, but after you get into your documents folder or wherever you want to put it, just type in what the file name, and I'm just going to call it file.txt, just like that. Then put your semicolon. Oh, duh. Shit. Yeah, as you can tell, I've not done Java for like a month, so I think it's a new file writer. There we go. Alright, so I know this is all cut off, but, um, let's see if I can maybe, like, fix it, I don't know. There. There you can see it. So that's what I put, and then, yeah. Alright, so, go out of there, and then, do, um, buffered writer, and, I don't know what it's called, out is writing out and then put new buffer writer uh, and then your variable stream now we want to out and write word and what on earth just happened oh shit. oh there we go. Oh. Alright. There we go. Sorry, I'm kind of struggling here, but... So, we're taking our buffered writer out, and we're just writing to our file, which we've created here. And, by the way, if it already exists, it's not going to create it again. It's just going to, like, skip that part, basically. Or I guess it'll create it again, but it'll just, like... It won't create two of them. It'll just, I guess, overwrite it. So, all right. Then we do. Uh, we take our out thing and we just write whatever we got. Our word. And that's what we got from our text field. And shit, I better hurry up. Um. So now just close and catch. All right. Now we're done. So. Okay, and then you know this stuff by now. And I guess I don't know how to spell writer, but that's alright. And set visible true. Alright. So, got that done. Save it, run it. Let's see if I remember how to run it. Yep. Alright, so here it is. Enter text to re it to file. So we're gonna re it. Uh, hello, write to file. And open up your documents folder or wherever you saved it to. And what do you know? You created a file named file. Open that up. And you know, I'll kind of try to make it kind of small to fit in this little window. Here it is. Hello. Close it. Try it again. Now we're going to write something else. And then. Shit. Documents. File. Something else. So as you can see, that is extremely useful 
in the future when we're going to be doing a lot of uh, file stuff and databases and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. I'm running pretty low on time, so be look out for my next tutorial. See ya.